Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Mike. Got a video for you. I'm out driving on a beautiful day. I believe it's May 16th today, 2022. I wanted to talk for just a minute and cover this subject about uh, related to evolution, what they teach to our children in schools, that we evolve from apes and I looked into this I kind of fell for it initially as well you know you have to believe in the whole missing link thing which of course they've never discovered the missing link if there was missing links they should be all over the place archaeologists should be finding them they never have and also you have the question of well if, if all apes turned into humans and why would there still be apes Okay, but I looked into it and checked into it. Listen to this. All right, did you know human beings don't run very well? We, we are not designed, apparently, by God to run perfectly, and that's why most animals can outrun human beings. It's just if you look at our running um, and, and how, you know, our knees and legs and everything work, we just... You know, we're not really designed to run very fast. Whereas you take an animal, like a dog, for example, I mean, they can, they can really go fast. And so when you want to compare us and say we came from apes, apes can run really fast and they could outrun us easily. They don't run in the same fashion that we run. They don't stand up straight. You know that. Their arms are longer than ours and they can run on all fours real easily. Okay, and so another big difference between us and apes, apes grow hair on their back, humans grow hair on their front, on their chest. Um, an ape or a, a monkey, a chimpanzee, can climb a tree very quickly. Uh, it's just, it's incredible. They are just built to swing. They can go from tree to tree, just up and down, just super fast. Okay, humans can't do that. Uh, apes have incredible strength, super strength compared to humans. If you tried to get in a fight with an ape or monkey, he could just pull your arms right out of the sockets. He could just kill you like in five to five seconds to ten seconds uh, if he was mad really easily. And I think you probably heard the story about someone being attacked by a chimpanzee before. It, it, it was horrifying what that animal did to the human being and that was a and that was an an, uh, an animal that had grown up as a pet so imagine what a wild paper monkey could do uh, we are not from apes okay the, the huge difference is the vocal cords humans have a voice box with vocal cords and we can speak apes cannot speak they can make a noise but they cannot sing or speak they are not designed with the same throat uh design that we are designed with major difference there's no way we came from them and then the other even bigger difference is the brain size in relation to the body uh, an ape or a monkey or a chimpanzee has a very small sized brain humans we have a swollen <laughs> extremely unusually large brain which, you know, if you read the Bible, God gave us dominion over the animals. He gave us a lot of things the animals don't have. Uh, and, you know, we, we've got abstract thinking. We, we have reasoning. We can add, subtract, and do all those kind of things that uh, animals just weren't, weren't gifted with what we were gifted with. So, you know, they are lying to our children in the schools saying that mankind evolved from apes all right so you know you know they they start off our kids lying about everything from the easter bunny and santa claus to snow wife this white and the seven dwarfs and they lie to us about just about everything and so the the ape thing is a huge lie and let me just finish this off with you know, Satan is very clever and crafty, and he's the one that created this whole evolution. We came from apes, 
story and shared it with people that follow him and that's the people who are in charge they're psychopaths and Satan worshipers and so you know in the Bible where it says that we were made in the image of God just think about this I believe the ape evolution thing is is a clever way that Satan is calling God a monkey because if we are made in the image of God and we came from monkeys, then, you know, he's saying God is a monkey. All right, so that, that just, I think it's very plain to see. I just wanted to make the video so it's out there for people to understand. Drop the whole we came from apes thing immediately. It's, I just debunked it, okay? Y'all have a wonderful day. See you next time. See you next video. God bless every single one that watches this video today. Have a blessed day.